it's Insane Gamers, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. In the last episode, we went back to Johto on the Magnet Train, and this is actually my second time recording this episode, because the first time I recorded it, I got to the end, and then my computer was like... CRASH! It was awesome! Yeah. So anyway, um, I was complaining the whole last time I recorded it, why, how... Everything on my computer was lagging. Yeah, I pretty much know why now. My graphics driver just went kablooey and exploded all over my screen, putting fragments of BS and Pokemon everywhere. It was like somebody took my screen and just splattered it everywhere. It was ridiculous. Okay, anyway, let's go back to Kanto now. Enough talking. We're gonna go back to Kanto and stalk people. And the only way to do that, of course, is take the Bangkok train. I mean, it's obviously the best way. Plus, I want to get there quickly. <clears throat> so here comes the magnet train. It's nice to see my computer is not lagging. I wonder if I can get the video of... Oh, it's totally saved on my computer as well. Hold on a sec. Also, we. Okay, actually, I, I was lying, it's not actually saved, it's an incomplete file, so it won't work, <laughs> but, it, 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 trust me, it, it was just like, wow, you had to do this now, you couldn't do this after I finished recording your freaking game. Okay, let's go stalk this person I previously mentioned, but actually didn't mention who I was gonna go stalk. Um, <clears throat> anyway, to get to her, we gotta go through Nugget Bridge, uh, which is up this way. Yay! Cerulean City. I don't really know what to say now, other than my computer sucks. Sucks more than... S sucking stuff. Look, Nugget Bridge is actually a bridge now, I can't believe it. it was, before it was just like, a piece of land. <laughs> now it's actually a bridge. But even so, it's a pretty pointless bridge, because you can just put the path over there. Doi! Okay, whatever. We're not questioning that. We're just gonna get started with this. First trainer out of six. I thought it was five originally. Like, you beat five trainers and... Oh, wait, no, never mind. One of them is a double battle. <coughs> Onish! Okay, Greg. Strut, your stuff. Um, actually, now... Before Norton kept c coming up saying that Desmume was, like, being a CPU hog and, you know, warning... A lot of CPU is being taken up, blah, 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 shut up. Now it's not doing that, so obviously there was something else going on in the background which I didn't know about. I don't know. Who knows? Who... Who knows? Who cares? Oddish is dead. The, the little purple onion thing. That's totally what it is, though. It's an onion. Don't deny it. It's totally an onion. You know it, I know it. Okay, it... it Whatever. Um, so here's another trainer. I'm second. Now it's serious. Really? Are you as serious as Al Gore? Because I think you can't be that serial. Because he is so freaking serial about everything. Oh, and last time, this Wigglytuff put me to sleep like twice. It was annoying. Really annoying. Let's see if it does it this time. Nope, it tried to disable me. Okay, whatever. Um, you fail! Eat my lives! <clears throat> right, anyhow. So, next is a Grand Bowl, and I know this because, well, gee, I haven't done this before. Um, yeah, we're going to You Shall Die. That worked last time. So, just one hit KO'd it. Actually, I got a critical hit surf. Because I think I was raging because it has bite or something and it flinched me out of it. I don't even know. Who cares? All I care about is the fact that Grand Bull is awesome. Okay, um... Anyway, Surf should take it out pretty handily. Because, you know, it's just doing the doggy paddle right now. I, I, doggy paddle is not in effect. <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me, that sound was really, really... Okay, it killed itself. I apologize for making that <laughs> sound, but... It, it was literally the first sound that came out of me when it lived. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Um, I did not just get castrated, so I, I really don't know what that sound was. I'm number three. This should be easy. 
Okay. Anyhow, uh, school kid Joe sent out Tangela, and I can't do anything to it because it's a Tangela. It's a big water spaghetti. So, um, yeah. Last time it used ancient power because it obviously predicted a switch to freaking Lapras, like a master of prediction or something bullcrapish like that. So I'm gonna switch to indignation this time and see if that gets me anywhere. It used. Okay, it's doing it again. Okay, please don't get the stat boost. I will be your best friend if you don't. Thank you. No! Twisted door of distortion! Open wide! Negative gate! <clears throat> or shadowy balls of fury. Whichever, you know, whichever rocks your socks off. Floats your boat, I meant to say. Then I, then I, then suddenly rock your boat came into my head. And I'm like, wait, that isn't right. And I was like... Rock your socks off for no re- Vaporeon, let's get out of this tangent. Ah, oh, crap, I- Really, who runs Bite on Vaporeon? Fine, you need me to say the incantation? I, who stand in the full light of the heavens, command me, who opens the gates of hell, come forth divine lightning, this ends now, indignation. Thank you, bye-bye. See, whenever I say that, it- it hits. I don't get it, but it does. Well, I think it's missed once when I said it, but normally it hits when I say that. And it always won it KOs, because it's just like indignation, bam! Now, know what true power is! No, he says that for, uh, Mr. Cage, actually. Yeah, anyway, I beat Tales of the Abyss recently. The final boss is sort of annoying. Especially since I only had five life bottles with me. And the first time I fought him, I didn't know how to beat him. I didn't, it's not that, I just didn't know what, what attacks he, kept, he could do. Oh, by the way, he likes to spam Mystic Arts. I don't even want to tell you how many times he used freaking Imperial Slaughter on me. Just like, DIE IMPERIAL SLAUGHTER! Five seconds later, Celestial Energy! Ten seconds later, IMPERIAL CELESTIAL SLAUGHTER! Well, then, you can't do that, that's cheating. Oh crap, I just revealed the name of the final boss. Um, <laughs> um, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Spoilers, but who cares? You've probably played the game before, and if you haven't, then hopefully you didn't catch that. <clears throat> Anyhow, so killing Nido 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 Kinga. Okay, uh, this is a double battle. Epic. Okay, according to how my last run went, Greg. And Flamon should level up because they have six Pokemon all together. Because it's like Paris, Gloom, Paris, Parasect. And... Okay, I was wondering. Okay, if one of you could do this calculation for me, I would be greatly appreciated. Wait, it would be greatly appreciated. Okay, Paris gets the ability Dry Skin, right? That makes it three times weak to fire. Well, I was thinking this. What if you had a dry skin Paris get hit by a blast burn from a solar power choice specs Charizard? Now let's think this over. You've got Paris getting hit by a super effective attack. That's times two. Okay, well, let's see. Um, blast burn is already 140, so times two. Oh, really? I'm asleep because of. Really now? Okay, anyhow, um, I'm making a lot of weird noises, sorry about that. Um, so, anyhow, you've got 140 gets doubled, and then increased again by 50% because of the, um, dry skin. Then, it increases 50% again because of the sun. Then it increases 50% again because of the stab, because of the fire typing. <laughs> then it increases 50% again because of the solar power. And then you put more power into it because of the freaking choice specs. Holy Jesus, that's a powerful attack. Um, wow, I'm still faster than you even though you just... So yeah, I would calculate that. In fact, as I'm saying it, I'll probably put it in the video. Which happened in the past, so I don't know why I'm telling it to you now. And if I do figure it out by some miracle, the number's flashing right now as I go to level 50. 
but it probably won't be because I suck at math and I can't even use a cal- Wait a second, wait a second. While we're doing the battle here, okay, we've got 140, right? Times point. Ah, nah, I can't do this. <laughs> ah, calculator. Okay, 140 times point fifty. Um, body slam, fire punch. What? No. 140 times point fifty. Okay, 140 plus 70. 140 plus 70. Okay. Now, that's with stab. Now, hold on. Then we can just do 140 times 2 for uh, for the uh, obvious, you know, in the sun. So now we've got 280. Now we'll multiply that by 2 again because of the super effective. So that's 560. But we increase that by 50%. Um, because of the dry skin. Okay. We're at 840 right now. Solar power increases it. Oh, I didn't mean to do divided. 840. God, 840. Solar power increases it a further 50%. Really, 840 times 0.50. Okay, plus 840. Okay, we're well over a thousand power now. <laughs> um. Okay, Greg is level 50. Um, we are way over a <laughs> thousand. Holy crap! That's ridiculous. Okay, hold on. We'll just get to the next trainer, then we'll uh, continue calculating this. <clears throat> um, uh, let's go with Gloria, just because Gloria is awesome. We won't get much use during the gym battle, so. Okay, bloody bloody blah, you're a trainer, blah 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 blah. Six pack trainers, dude. I totally got an eight pack. What are you talking about? Okay, so we factored in Sun, Stab. Uh, super effective with the dry skin. We've oh at plus one. Uh, see, I don't know if I should include fifty percent power or have it be like fifty percent of its attack stat. So, why don't we just say right now that attack? I think if my calculations are correct, which they most likely aren't. What are you doing? Solar beam? Okay. Um, which they most likely aren't. Right now we're looking at a 1,260 power attack. Wow. That's pretty, um, yeah. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. That would hurt. So, anyhow, remember how I said we were stalking someone this episode? Well, we can't stalk them yet, because this guy, we gotta fight. Cause he, he, but he does give us a nugget, a nugget of wisdom. Anyway, um, thank you for math class with an, for, you know, coming with math class with IG. I realize it was a, a very exciting, but whatever. So, Ace Trainer, Kevin, Ryhorn, Gloria. Okay, Glory, use that 1,260 power attack I just taught you. <laughs> oh my god. I, I, I think that's correct, but I might have missed something. I'll, I'll have to do it, like, for real. W not, like, on the spot. But, yeah. Pretty, um... Pretty lousy, if you ask me. Oh, wait! That's still not right! Because... That's still not right! Hold on. That's still not right. You want to know why? 1,260. Because it's quad weak to fire. So I need to increase this by two. By a... F there. <laughs> oh, this is getting ridiculous. So it's actually five times weak to fire. Sorry. Um, so scratch the 1,200. We're at like freaking 2,500 right... Oh, crud balls. It just used Ice Beam, didn't it? And that didn't do anything. Razor leaves! Yeah. I mean... Holy crap. You know, just for... Really, you lift. Really, you swagger! Weird, weird noises again. Um, so, anyhow. Uh, let's switch into Flame On to avoid the ice beam. So yeah, 
that is my new revised number. If there are any further complaints, please leave something in the comments about what I added wrong, because I'm sure I did. And look, I predicted that. What a master of prediction I am. Okay. Well, we've, like I said, had math class with IG. It was extremely exciting, and I thank you for joining me with, you know, math is just so not epic, but... Whatever. Apparently, though, Shuckle can cause the most damage in the game. If you have a level 100 power trick, Shuckle, on the last turn of rollout against a level 1 Lady Bar, it apparently does the most amount of damage in the game. But I think I found the next one up! <laughs> um. <coughs> Excuse me. That was weird. Okay, anyway, we beat Kevin, so... Whatever. Um, now we're gonna go stalk this person, and, uh... Let's get a stalking... Yes! Dunsparce. We'll stalk them with Dunsparce. Okay, they're right over here. Somewhere. Oh, oh. Stalkity stalky! Stalkity stalkity stalky! What do you think of that, Dunsparce? Dunsparce... It's following you very closely. Hey, you like... Want to give it a pet? Whoa! Whoa, Dunsparce! Wait a second! Wait a second! Wait a second, Dunsparce. Okay, no, no. What? What? <laughs> okay, Dunsparce. Now would be a good time to get back in your Pokeball, I think. <laughs> Um, Greg? Okay, whatever. At least Greg isn't being unreasonable. <laughs> I love how the guy just runs away. And there's Misty. Oh, why did he have to show up and bug us? No, I'm not a pest. I'm a... Well, Dunsparce is a rapist. Um, but... <laughs> My intention was only to stalk you, not... Whatever. Anyway, next episode, we're gonna fight the gym leader. That was very creepy, Dunsparce. I really don't want to see that again. I like hearing the slappy sound of the... I guess it's like going through the puddle. Okay. Anyway, next episode, we'll heal up. And we'll go into the gym, and we'll see what Misty has to say. So, I will see you guys next time with more Pokemon Heart Gold! Remember, Dunsparces can be rapists sometimes.